What's up guys, welcome back to episode 7 of my Let's Play Survival Series and part 2 of my little house renovation project that I started in my last video. But I was unable to get it all done in an appropriate amount of time to have it in a single video. So I decided to do it into two parts to keep it interesting. Um, and this, this whole video is going to be primarily building this house and getting it finished. I'm going to keep most of the boring stuff out, I'm going to keep this intro s short and sweet so you can just get right into building, right into the exciting stuff, and yeah, let's just get started on the second floor here. Alright guys, off camera I just gathered a ton of wood, hopefully I do not run out of wood as much as I did in the last episode, if any of you guys watched it I kept running out of um, spruce wood, um, and I kept having to go and get more spruce wood, and it was just really annoying, I had to keep cutting the video. Um, I'd also want to mention that I turned down my game volume because uh, in some clips yesterday I noticed that when I was especially when I was breaking grass like if I was talking you literally wouldn't be able to hear me at all I fixed that that's all good um, yeah I guess we're just gonna get started with building here um, tons of, I also went ahead and enchanted my tools and my armor and I I, uh, I got some good stuff I did a level 18 enchantment on all of these and the sword I got a little unlucky but everything else Got pretty lucky. <clears throat> as far as the second floor goes, I've decided on using stripped oak logs. I think that stripped oak logs are going to look really good, um, complementing the stone and the spruce wood the best. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go around here and <clears throat> um, fill in the walls. Um, pretty much just. But yeah, I'm just going to go around here and fill in the walls. I do want to add a balcony. I think I'm probably going to do it over here. I think over here would be the the most appropriate to view the backyard, but I mean, it would be nice to have one out front here. Maybe I could squeeze one here. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to mess with some stuff. Alright guys, so I've been messing around and I was actually able to get a balcony on the front and I came up with this design. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, I'm not completely sold on the glass yet. Um, I might move, I might make them trap doors, I'm not too sure. This is just pretty rough design so far, I'm probably going to ch end up changing this. I think that I also do want to still make a balcony on the back, but I'm not, I gotta have to come up with a design for that first. I'm still, I, but I still need to finish the walls before I can get to that point. I also just realized um, this pillar was originally right here, which was incorrect. Um, I just moved that out, and I was able to make this a night. I was also able to add a lot more detail to this little um, overhang, and then because this was here, but this was not sticking out, so I fixed that. Um, still working on the walls, looking really good though. Love the colors up against the stone. It's looking fantastic so far. As I go along and work on this wall, I wanted to thank you guys again. Um, over last night, I got another two subscribers, which is amazing. And my last video hasn't even been out for 24, 24 hours, and it's already the most popular video on my whole channel. Thank you guys so much. Um, my, ch my channel's been growing a lot faster than I thought it was, even though I only have 12 subscribers. That is genuinely way more than I thought that I would have by now. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much. It's really motivating me to push and edit longer, play more, and create content that you guys actually enjoy. Because this YouTube channel is something that I've wanted to start for years now, but never had the courage to. And even that, even if I don't get crazy amounts of views or subscribers, you know, like I'm still super happy uploading. I'm still super happy making these videos whether I get views or not. It's just making these videos is was my goal and my dream. Not to have a million subs, just to make videos, upload them, and be proud of them. So thank you guys so much. I can't believe I've gotten this far, and I have only can only thank you guys f for getting me here. Alright, uh, another stack of wood should be enough to finish. I, I've put in the floor slash ceiling there, so that's no longer open. Just gonna sleep. 
I've gone to bed so many times, I've timed it. When that corner gets to just above that tree right there, that's when I can sleep. I'll show you. See, it's right there, can't sleep, and it's right just above it, and bedtime. Alright guys, the walls are done. I need to pick a spot to make a staircase to come up here. <clears throat> and I need to do something about this. I'm not sure if I want this all to be open up here. I'm going to split it up into some rooms. And I also do want to make a little, little porch thing here that actually sticks out a few blocks. I actually wanted this one to be kind of, kind of, kind of nice and large. Maybe stick it out like three blocks. Go up, go across like that. Oops. Actually, I don't. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the logs. I might do something like this. <clears throat> Oh, of course. Um, I'll update you guys when I come up with something. Alright guys, so I've come up with this. I kind of like it. It's not too shabby. I did um, these little things. And actually, I'm going to put this... How does it go again? Okay. I'm going to put this back. I actually kind of like how that was. And was there... Was there... Or there indeed was. And I needed more trap doors. Now I just gotta get up here and finish out this balcony. Alright, I just made this uh, cool little railing design with trap doors and um, spruce stairs. I think it looks pretty good. A lot of, a lot of spruce here. I might, I might change this floor up, but not right now. Alright, here's a good spot for a staircase. Just gonna do this. And I could use some trapdoors for a railing, but I need to make more trapdoors. There we go. And I put a door and it fits perfectly now. It's like it's a little 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 closet or a little um little crawl space. I could put like a chest in here and hide something there. I also just came up with a better front balcony design that I think looks a lot cleaner and a lot less overwhelming than the previous one that I had. And I just made this little roof for the front balcony and I think it looks awesome. The next big challenge that we have is the rest of the roof. So I want to think I'm going to outline it in spruce stairs and then fill in the middle with um, what's that? Deep slate. Cobbled deep slate. I think that's the block I'm going to use. I think that'll really complement the palette that we have going on here with the colors very well but I do not have enough so I'm gonna have to go mining to grab some off to get me some deep sleet I'm just gonna go in the cave that I've been in a million times this cave right here as you can see it goes right down to deep slate right there don't have to go too far I don't have a smart way of entering this cave yet though so we're just gonna do this brother falling three on the boots now though helps a lot. Also, luckily I have efficiency three in my pick now, so I can mine this stuff a lot faster than I could previously. Thank goodness, because our not enchanted diamond pickaxe mines this stuff pretty slow. I just found copper and I'm on like level probably negative five-ish. Wait a minute. Look at that. I can't believe I missed that. <clears throat> Found me some diamonds. That was a little bonus. I'll take that. Alright, guys, I got three, six, nine, nine stacks of cobble deep slate. I think this should be enough. I hope it's enough. I really don't want to have to come back down here. Alright, I think I have a good start. I got four stacks of stairs and two stacks, two and a half stacks of spruce. So let's see how far we can get with this much. So for my little combination here with the roof, I'm doing spruce on the outside, upside down spruce on the middle there, and then cobble deep slate in the center. And I'm just going to do this all the way around except for the little accent roofs like this and that but everywhere else is going to be just like this 
and I'm not going to have it wrap all the way around. I'm going to have this as an open wall. It's just going to go straight across, and then that'll be a little accent, little roof as well. That'll probably be just all spruce. Alright, and as far as the roof shape goes, um, I'm going to have the spruce on the outside and it's going to be a little bit taller than the deep slate on the inside. And I think I like the shape a lot. I think it looks pretty good. I don't think it looks too tall either. Um, I'm going to have I'm gonna have a bar going across there of, um, of oak wood. I'm just actually going to go up there now and do it just to see how that looks. Yep, I think that looks good, and I did a center pillar as well. It's not centered with this one, but I think it looks alright like that. I think that actually that, um, adds a little bit more character to the house. Ouch. Um, but yeah, after just breaking my legs, I might as well just show you. I decided to do the roof up top as well in stripped oak. And then I wanted to put um, some spruce stairs for a little... Um, windowsills. That's what I was trying to do until I decided to just walk right off and break my legs. Alright, this side of the wall is pretty much done other than a few minor details. Actually, I think I'm going to go put my one trap door that I have left. Oops. I think I'm going to put my one trap door that I have left right. Not there. Oh, you're kidding me. I need to make more scaffolding. I only have six and that's already in use. I need to get more bamboo. There we go. I think like right there. Actually, you know what? I th think I have an idea that's going to look a lot better than this. I think that might be a little too much. I think I might just leave it as with this, the window sills. I think that's just going to be way too much going on in the same area. Or what if I just do a flat shelf across? Because that actually fits in perfectly. While I'm up here, I'm going to do this as well. And then while I'm also up here, I'm going to put some leaves up here like that and then as I come down they could droop over a little bit Get all the blocks on the ground from me failing that looks better that looks a lot better yeah that's gonna I'm probably gonna do the exact same thing on the other side of the roof when I get over there as well but I have no amount of the roof done really other than this bit here I'm getting distracted perfect I got the center line done now I just have to start filling it in and I also need to do this side I'm have a lot to do over here still Half of the roof is now completed. Now on to the second half, and then I have to do a little thing here, and then the bulk of the house will be completed, finally. All right, guys, the bulk of the roof is done. I think it looks amazing. All I have to do now is this side of the roof, and then I have to do a little, little mini roof type thing right, right there. And then a little bit of decorating, like windows, some, sh some shutters, door right there. And then the bulk of the house will be done. Um, if, I if I think of any other details, I'll probably continue that into the next episode. But I'm talking like maybe a chimney. Um, if I can think of anything else I can add, 
detail wise that'll that'll be the next episode but like I promised the bulk of the house is done all right guys the roof is done the walls are done all I need to do left is add some windows a couple more decorations and then the house is probably about 90 95 percent done or at least it'll be done enough t to complete this video and if there's any other little details um, I'll probably do them in the next video but and as I as they come to me because as of right now I'm pretty burnt out um, this was quite a project to complete this is a very very big larger scale house build than I'm normally used to everybody I just went around and decorated a little bit I added the little shutters on the sides and on the top with the fence doors I added some flowers around and some bushes I also had a little bit of an air with the roof over here that I did not notice but it's fixed now and it looks great um, oh, this should not be here and this should be gone but I'm overall I'm very happy with how this house turned out the roof definitely needs a little bit I'm probably gonna in the next video maybe we'll um, spend half the video adding some more decorations and decorating the interior of the house um, but probably only spend half the video doing that since there really isn't a whole lot to do because the house is pretty much done I love the balcony um, the walls are nice I forgot to put window glass on that window I'll get up there and do that though but anyway, what do you guys think? Anything the house is missing? Comment below. Anything you want me to add for the next episode, let me know. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Can't believe we're already on episode 7 of this series. And again, thank you for 12 subscribers. That is huge. And also thank you all for the support on my last video. It being already my most popular video out of all my videos but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video